decided to do a video this morning about dry hair. And so many clients call me all the time asking me, but my hair is dry, my scalp is dry. And they come into the salon and you tell them, come back in two weeks, come back in two weeks. You can't come, you can't afford to come back in two weeks, come back three weeks time. But people want to wait three weeks before they get that, not three weeks, but they want to wait four weeks, sometimes five weeks without shampooing their hair, without not conditioning their hair, and then wonder why their hair is dry. But every day, your body sheds skin. Every day, we sweat and we perspire. So if you're not, if you're not shampooing your hair on a regular basis and not cleansing your scalp, then yeah, your scalp's going to be dry. And you can't replace proper shampoo with warm, soapy shampoo with cold washes. A lot of people who, with the term natural hair, which is another whole video on itself, want to wet the hair every day, put product in the hair every day to try to make that hair curly and moisturize. Then you wear it down product, it's diluted, it's sitting on your scalp, and then you put more product on top of that. That just doesn't make sense. That would be the same way if you got up in the morning and you didn't wash your body and you just put deodorant on the top of the oven, at some point your arms are going to be musky. At some point you're going to have buildup under your armpits. So it's the same thing with your scalp. You have to wash your hair. You have to keep the pH balance in your hair regulated and moisturized so you, your hair won't be dry. Normally curly hair, the curlier the hair, the tighter the curl pattern the hair is going to be dry. There's nothing that you can do if you, if you make sure that your scalp is conditioned and shampooed well and you use good product to hydrate the hair and keep the hair hydrated. You won't feel like that your hair is dry. You know, our hair is like a slinky. Anything in terms of a slinky that's springy and goes like that, that's what you get when you talk about curl pattern and curly hair. When you think about fine hair and straight hair, it's straight. If you ever wash the car and you have a water hose, the water hose, if the water hose is straight out, the water's coming out at full force. If the water hose has some tangs and some curls in it, then the water has to go through those loops. It's not coming out as strong. That's the same thing with curly hair if you take in terms of that. That your natural oils that's up under your scalp are coming out and it's lubricating the shaft of the hair follicle. So, and the hair also does not like to be weighed down with a lot of product and a lot of stuff good on it. It's the same thing as a plant. You ever have a plant and it rains and it just gets so full and the leaves just go down because it can't hold all of that. And then when it, when it kind of dries out, something springs back up. When your hair is the same way, whether it's curly, whether it's fine or straight, once it gets all this stuff on it, all this loop, it tends to weigh down. So don't weigh your hair down with product. So you have to know your hair texture. There's a reason why your cosmetologist or your barber went to school for 1,800 hours or 1,500 hours. We had to learn the properties of the hair and the scalp. And we do know what we're talking about. We're not making videos to get on YouTube just to get a hit so we can get a check. So it's just like, would you go to YouTube for a doctor? No, you would go to the doctor. So don't, I'm not saying all YouTube videos are bad because I sometimes post YouTube videos online. What I'm saying to you is you have to listen to your cosmetologist or whatever regimen that they're telling you you need to get. And you're trying to duplicate different stuff by not washing your hair and just putting stuff on your scalp and spraying anti itches and gray sprays and all that stuff on your scalp. It works for a minute, it's, it's most of the time it's soothing just for a second. But as soon as it dries out, nine times out of ten, your hair is going to be dry again. Or you wind up putting a whole lot of heavy oils or grease on your scalp, on the top of the dirty scalp. And then you wind up with having fungus and stuff on your scalps because you're not cleansing your scalp. You must, you must, you must, you must, people, wash your hair on a regular basis every two weeks for most African Americans. Some people can go do it once a week. And if most straight hair, um, if it's the hair is real oily, sometimes the hair needs to be cleansed a little bit more because you have to get the fall out. So depending on the
protection of the hair, you have to get it out. And if you have dreadlocks, or locks as I like to call them, they still need to be washed, they still need to be cleaned. You do not need to be going, do not need to be going past three weeks. You need to really come in every two weeks and cleanse that hair. These locks are like sponges, they tend to hold on to stuff, and then you've got product on top of product, and residue, if you have a healthy life and you, you're working out, you're perspiring and sweating, stuff like that, it tends to get trapped in the locks, and then you walk around with build up on your locks with cast your locks. That does not work, okay? So let's keep, let's shampoo our hair. Let's shampoo our hair on a regular basis, all right? Have a good day. Just took this time to make this video while I'm driving in the car. All right, shampoo, pH balance, keep the hair hydrated.